Let me make a grave announcement, okay? All of us are going to die. And with the advancement of modern medicine, many of us will probably live to be about 130 years old because we're gonna have all these new drugs soon that are going to make our lives longer. So eventually we just become these huge, you know, 900 pound things of crazy credit debt spiraling down into depression. But we're 900 pounds, but we're living for 130 years. And we all die peacefully in our sleep at the age of 113 at 940 pounds, where the house needs to be cut in half and your bloated corpse will be carried out of the house in a crane and thrown into a hole where they'll put a shopping center on top. And personally, I think that's a pretty stupid way to go. Mommy, what happened to Auntie Susie? Well, she lived to be 145, and then she was the size of New York, so they just, you know, threw in a hole. Uh, that's kind of boring and depressing. I know, son, let's never speak of it again. Okay. But every once in a while, someone dies with such charisma, with such poignancy, that it's a story you tell over and over again. Something like, um, getting eaten by a crocodile. That's an awesome story! Mommy, what happened to Uncle Peter? He was eaten by a fucking crocodile! That is so awesome! You're damn right it's awesome! And with that story, you will get free dinner in school all the way up to your first year of college. Yeah, aren't you the guy who's Uncle... Crocodile, right? Yeah. God damn! Here's my sandwich! So I have a task for all my subscribers, all 1,000 plus of you. Lots of you are young, you're smart, you're on the move, and you can travel. Don't do it for me. Do it for your family. At least one member of every family should die charismatically to provide you with good dinner conversation, and it gives me something to giggle about while I sleep. And also, especially if you're a hippie, you love the planet, don't you? You love this planet, you love being on it, you love all the stuff that's on this planet, right? You're eco-aware, you know all this stuff is happening now, the earth is heating up. Al Gore was right, the seas are warming, it's why it's raining in places where it should be snowing and vice versa. And that's our earth and that's what man has done to the earth. A couple of years ago the earth was awesome! There's all these animals running around and stuff like that. You know, mother nature, I eat you, you eat me, you stop breeding, we die. Darwin's gonna come along and straighten the whole thing out. Hopefully before the crazy intelligent design people start putting the bible in our science class. What? And then man came along and he invented cement, the engine, war, suicide, drug addiction, death, child molestation, and now we live on this evil planet denuded of lumber. All the animals are dying by the day. The rainforest is pretty much dissolving by the second. Everything else is dying because man is here. But every once in a while, Mother Nature will come back armed and ready and ready to take nature back from the evil human invaders. And that's where we get exotic, predatory death. I read a story the other day, link in the description, about a woman that was eaten by an 11 foot crocodile. I was overjoyed. It was exciting. You can go out and be eaten by a crocodile. There's no shame in that death. Look, you're gonna die. We know that! Wouldn't it be worth it to shave 7 to 27 years off your life to go out like that? Do you really want to sit around and watch all those reruns of Everybody Loves Raymond? All those decades, go to work, take shit from the boss, watch your husband's balls droop down into his socks? Or do you want to go out as a sexy young thing that's gonna get thrashed around by an alligator who's gonna string your intestines in the trees like Christmas decorations? Come on, you know you want it! So yeah, the woman in the article dies and I wasn't like, hooray! But I was like, that's pretty fucking cool. I also found another story, link in the description, and it probably has the best headline of any article ever made ever. Here it is. He was naked, on crack, and in the mouth of an alligator. That's almost as good as the headline, I burst into flames while giving birth. The naked crackhead in the crocodile, his name was Adrian Apgar. My new American hero. And I'm Welsh for fuck's sake. Adrian Apgar got naked, smoked some crack, went on a crazy streak, woke up in the mouth of an alligator. And one of his neighbor heard him screaming, you know, Oh God, I've been eaten by an alligator. His neighbor just leaned over the fence and just went, Adrian, you crackhead, what are you doing? I'm fucking been eaten by an alligator! Hold on. Nine, nine, nine. Yeah, um, 
My friend, he's on crack, he's naked, and he's in the mouth of a crocodile. No, I'm not on crack, he's on crack. Yeah, just a minute. How big is the alligator? Fucking big! It's a big one, yeah? Just a minute. The lady says you need to punch the alligator on the nose, it'll go away. It's too big to be on the nose! Yeah, he says it's too big. Anyway, do you think you could bring someone over to help? Yeah? Um, I don't know his last name. That phone conversation went on for eight minutes. Two minutes later, the ambulance and the police arrive. They manage to get the crocodile off him. Good old tug of war thing. Now obviously the crocodile's still eating him while they're ripping him in half. And eventually the crocodile just went, screw this, nom 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 nom. So they managed to save him and all I could think was, good try man, good try. So the question I have for all my subscribers today, you can even leave it in a video response if you want to. If you could die in a creative and imaginative way, what would you do? Absolutely anything goes. Personally, I want to die playing an awesome guitar solo on the edge of a cliff and falling into a vat of Hershey syrup and drowning. Why not? It's a good way to go. I hope you guys come up with some cool ones as well. My name's Astrobex, and I am the fucking man. Nom 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 nom.